We begin at five with a murder investigation in Woonsocket. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Twin sisters are now each in custody in connection to their father's death back in January. Two months after her sister Jennifer was charged, Danielle Pamula faced the judge this morning. New at five, Alexandra Leslie is outside district court in Providence with what police sees from the Cato Street home. Well, in February, we learned that Joseph Pamula was stabbed with a pair of garden shears. Today, Woonsocket's police chief told me that he also suffered from blunt force trauma. In court, I obtained a police report that showed police seized more than 50 items of evidence on the night of the murder. A Woonsocket police report sheds more light into a violent January night at this since boarded up Cato Street home. Uh, when police arrived on that scene, they immediately noticed Joseph Pumula deceased on the floor of the kitchen. He had a large garden shear lodged in his neck. Police are referring to 70-year-old Joseph Pumula. They say he and his daughter Jennifer have been in an argument about getting rid of a dozen cats and selling their home. His other daughter Danielle told police she had slept through the murder that Jennifer was later charged with. Police observed on this defendant's hand a visible fresh injury to her right palm. A police seizure report shows authorities bagged more than 50 pieces of evidence that night. In addition to garden shears, the report says multiple knives, stone fragments with and without blood, a gargoyle head, a metal saw, plus phones and clothing from both sisters were taken. In the weeks after the murder, police became aware that Danielle allegedly admitted to others she was involved. She was brought in for questioning Thursday. She uh, admitted to police that they had both taken part in the killing of their father. Both sisters have been ordered held without bail. Danielle Pamula is due back in court next Friday, while her sister Jennifer is due back on Monday. Reporting live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. A gargoyle head, bloody stone fragments, a saw and knives. Those are among the 50 items police say they took from a Woonsocket home where a 70 year old man was killed. Both of the man's daughters are now charged with his murder. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us now live outside of District Court in Providence, where the second daughter was arraigned this morning. Well, in court, we learned that Danielle Pamula was in and out of various facilities in the weeks following the murder. We also learned that she allegedly reported to others at those facilities that she had been involved in her father's death. Danielle Pamula. A second daughter of 70 year old Joseph Pamula is now in custody after Woonsocket police say they had enough evidence to charge Danielle Pamula with first degree domestic murder. Police were called to 241 Cato Street by this defendant, uh, Danielle Pamula, for the report of two unconscious parties, the first being her father, Joseph Pamula, and the second being her twin sister, Jennifer Pamula. Police say prior to that on January 30th, Danielle went upstairs to take a nap while her twin sister, Jennifer, was fighting with their father over selling the house and getting rid of 12 cats. Two months later, the Cato Street home is boarded up. A neighbor told us the sisters appeared to keep to themselves and were shocked to see police that January night. Actually, my boyfriend came home and said, imagine if it was the two girls down the street. I'm like, no, it can't be. They just look too nice. At the time, police only charged Danielle's sister Jennifer with murder. Court documents say Jennifer had uttered, quote, I had to do it. Danielle had been released after questioning by police. Police observed on this defendant's hand a visible fresh injury to her right palm. It wasn't until recently that Danielle allegedly admitted to her involvement and went back to Woonsocket Police Thursday for more questioning. There, prosecutors say she originally took full responsibility for her father's death. She uh, admitted to police that they had both taken part in the killing of their father. No plea was entered for Danielle Pamula in court today. Both she and her sister Jennifer were ordered held without bail and each are due back in court separately next week. Live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.